close them until they stop. <laughs> Incidentally, that uh, car was being driven by Emanuele Pirro. And look now as Glenn Seaton really charges through our BP race camp, showing some graphic shots. That's uh, Phil Ward in the Sefco Benz on the inside. And Seaton having a real battle on his hands at the moment with uh, Jim Richards. He must nice be crying. Topic. There's some water on the lens of our race cam. <laughs> it's crying. That's our BP race cam that will ride with Glenn Seaton throughout the day in the number 15 car. Chicotto in the middle of a Nissan sandwich at the moment. Richards and Glenn Seaton. This is where Seaton closes on Jimmy Richards down to Caltex Chase, the right-hand king. Oh. Now, now across to the left-hander. He can get himself well sorted here. Jim's having to drive offline a little to try and round up Armin. The 1985 James Hardy winner who then drove with Tom Walkinshaw and now Richards swaps to the inside. Armin's a professional. He knows he doesn't want to hold up a good race. He's got a perfect score at Bathurst, although I think that'll fall away this weekend. He won the Group A class in 1984 at its instigation in the Mobile Rover. Picked up a victory the following year in the Jaguar. And look at George. Fury in car number 30 trying to find a way through on the inside of his teammate. So rapidly becoming a four-way battle with Richards at the head of the pack. Then Seaton, then Fury who's making a charge and Giacotto behind them. Seaton again. Right behind the Australian champ Jimmy Richards. The two of them fought out a magnificent battle for the Shell Ultra Australian Touring Car title this year. So the BP Teamsters, Glenn Seaton and George Fury... This is quite a freight train as they head to the top of BP Cutting. Through the wreckage there of the uh, Perkins and Neville Crichton cars. I reckon that Glenn would be looking for some sweet revenge after ditching the Touring Car Championship. He tried so hard. The two manufacturers, BMW and Nissan, ended up joint winners of the Manufacturers Championship in Australian Touring Car Racing. By the way, the uh, 40 BMW is still in the pits. They're still working on it. There are so many people, they're getting in each other's road. The stewards are there, and they're arguing with them as well. I don't think they're ever going to get back out of the track, not at this rate. The interesting thing is that, of course, the BMW uh, teams from Europe came here with six cars. And, of course, uh, Frank Gardner came to Mount Panorama with two. Jimmy Richards at the moment is leading uh, the BMW contingent, make no doubt about that. Well, I noticed that uh, Greg Peewee Siddle's at the front of that car down there looking a little solemn, so perhaps Richard might be able to get down there and see what's going on. And I hate to argue with our computer, but that is the Emanuele Piro BMW. Yes, correct. Yeah. And they've downed tools there as well, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere in a hurry. Back to the battle. Look at this. Oh. Thinking about trying to get down here on the inside, but Jim covers these tracks beautifully. Glenn goes back to second for the chase. Needs every bit of power he can squirt out of the Nissan to third. To fourth, briefly. Oh, Oops. late breaking. Look at this. Back to second. He's got it all swinging in the breeze. Richards closes the gap. There's nothing between them. A little bit of oversteer from the Nissan. And he gets right into the draft of the BMW. Acknowledges his pit board. And he can just sense that he's got the pace at the moment to really give Jim some problems. And gets all sideways coming through on the inside. Big fistfuls of opposite lock. And that'll probably allow George Fury to get just a little closer. Shades of the final round of the Australian Touring Car Championship at Oran Park. The battle between this pair. That 40 BMW is up and running again, by the way. Well, poor old Jim is giving uh, Glenn Seaton card in for rest. Georgie Fury chiming in. George also has to contend with Johnny Chicotto, who sits just back behind him. Jim is doing a giant killing job here in the M3. The 44 JPS car heading up to BP Cutting again. George Fury has traditionally been one of the unluckiest drivers at Mount Panorama. A guy with enormous talent. Australian Rally Champion, winner of the Southern Cross Rally here, finished fourth in the New Zealand round of the World Rally Championship back in about 1981, I think it was. Twice the runner-up in the Australian Touring Car Championship, but when he's come to Bathurst, apart from that brilliant lap in Hardy's Heroes back in 1984, luck has deserted him. 
We'll look at them stream across the top nose to tail. Four outstanding drivers. Richard Seat Fury and uh, Chicano, of course, no introduction, former world motorcycle champion. Both 500 and 750cc categories. And I think 350s as well. Yes, you're right, Okay, Sorry, I was just looking at my notes as always. Well, I was Se looking at you for confirmation. You're Se the mine of information management. <laughs> I don't know about that. 75, um, uh, I think it was World 350 champion. He was the runner-up once in the 500 class, and he also picked up the World 750 as well. Did a stint in Formula One with Tolman before he severely broke his legs. Oh, oh gee, did you see? He picked that oh. wheel up. Just picked it up straight over the top of the curb. That happened to one of the lusty boys yesterday. Is that the, the new model Nissan bicycle? Three wheel and two wheel. They come down to the end of Conrad Straight. And this fascinating dice between Glenn Seaton and Jim Richards continues. The battle for seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth places. the approach to Mountain Straight again and see whether or not Seaton if he can make a run at Richards over the crest there here he comes down the inside, moment of truth for Jimmy Richards look at Fury Fury going to try and see if he can sneak down there as well, here comes the farmer they work their way up Motocraft Hill Jimmy Richards will have the line for the next term, but George takes it in deep. 